All right, so we all know people who are on dating apps, right? We have talked to a lot of people upstairs in our newsroom who actually found the love of their life and their marriage partner there. But there's an important warning that you guys need to hear from a 19-year-old woman in the Bronx who was robbed by a man that she met, apparently, on a dating app. Let's show you the guy that police are now looking for. They say he was at the victim's apartment in the Belmont section last Friday. That's where he allegedly held a knife to the victim's neck and then stole her phone. Oh, so Ugh. scary. And this really opens up a much bigger conversation about safety when it comes to dating mm. using these apps. Experts say that it's really the most common way that couples are meeting in the U.S. right now with more than 40 million Americans using these apps. But among those suitors are unfortunately, unfortunately some bad actors and even violent predators, according to a study by Brigham Young University. Making matters worse, that study found that assaults between people who met on these dating apps were typically more violent. So here's the thing. We want to do some bottom lining here because we literally know this is a part of almost everyone who's single. So be vigilant. You have to say even especially maybe in the tri-state because a study of the most dangerous states for online dating ranked New York as 12, New Jersey as 18, and Connecticut as 26. Now, oddly, the most, and I don't know why, but the most dangerous state is in Alaska. So we have a couple of brilliant, intelligent, wonderful young women who yep. found their partners upstairs. Yep. And here was their number one thing that they wanted to share. Because dating apps don't have a safety, you don't put a safety contact in your dating app like Mike, like you do, like on Uber. Uber or Lyft, they, they will say if you're going the wrong direction, are you okay? Do you right. need a contact? Yes, why is it taking so yeah. long? Right. But that doesn't happen on a dating app. So they chose each other as the contact. They know when they're leaving on their date. They know who they're dating and they know when they're coming I love home. that. You have to have something like this. But why don't dating apps have to have a safety guardrail? Yeah, well, I mean, maybe they will maybe, now that will. this is coming out, or maybe we'll create one. Well, yeah. <laughs> and to that safety point, when one of them ended up dating for the first time their eventual husband, yeah. the other one said, I was started to get worried because the date was lasting so long. <laughs> so I was sounding the alarm, and then it turns out everything was okay. It was a good thing. And now they're married. So congratulations. So, because I, because we love our people, yeah. we just have to say this. Uh, Shuby was a serial fast dater. And <laughs> this date actually ended up to be a longer date. But instead of being wrong, it was very, very right. I love yeah, that story. Right. That, that test was looking out for. <laughs> so, so, so sometimes, you know, the dating app, Apps work, but yeah, you do have to be go. careful, yeah. and and you just don't know. You just don't know who is going to be That's that true. person. That's true. And, and if he's them. doing this to this particular woman, the in, incident in the Bronx, we then, may find more. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Ho so hopefully, we'll cops will find him. Yeah.